Previously on Dream Team. There are no legends that are just a United. Not anymore. I've changed my plans for Saturday. I'm going to build my whole team around you. Jesus, Gina. I'm going to get stuffed. Worse than I've ever been in my life. Of course. Barker does want fat boy to screw up. He doesn't give a monkeys about the FA Cup. It just gets in the way of promotion. So you're saying the gaffer wants us to lose? And he wants it to be Fletcher's fault. Look, if we're going to be strike partners, we've got to get to know each other a little bit better, you know? Have a little adventure. Ladies, you know Lee Presley, right? Let's go. You've dropped. You're right. No, you. Presley. What a goal from Carl Fletcher. That will surely give Harchester the win. The return of a hero. Carl Fletcher didn't disappoint the Harchester fans. His goal delivers a place in the fourth round of the FA Cup. Hero yet again. Yeah, it's good to know I can still do it, you know, when it counts. I mean, I love this competition and keeping us in it gives me a great feeling, you know. I'd also like to thank the fans for their support. Where would we be without them, eh? Thanks a lot, yeah? Mwah! So done! Do I get a thank you for that goal? Luck never lasts, you know. We'll see, we'll see. Hey, baby! Uh, wow! There you go. So, you want to make a better United of it? See, so the missus is retired already? Oh, uh, not for me, thanks, Dan. I've just told the guys we're going to make a move. Got to be fresh for that Plymouth game. Good the night. Ah, can I argue with that? All right, see you in the morning, Frank. Bye. See you later. Get license for now, Frank. Watch out. Oh. Hey. Hey. One more in your car. Of course, man. Hey, you're yes. Nah, uh, uh. Uh. What? You're not good to drive. Curtis. <laughs> You've been on the OJ, right? You better take them back. I'll take Lee. Sure. Come on, Carl. Thanks. Come on, let's get another drink, hey? Isn't that Frank's car? Yeah. Maybe he's breaking down. I still think you should have invited Fletcher Jean around for a drink. The night is still young. I didn't feel like it. Stone Cold Frank. So you got back all right then? Frank? Get back in the house, Jordan. Babe, aren't you coming in? Get back in the house! Alexander, I need a word. In private. Look, whatever you thought you saw tonight, you didn't. I mean, it wasn't what it looked like. Forget about it. The guy was a hitchhiker. I stopped to do him a favor. He just, he just jumped me. He was just some sicko. Sure. Okay. Look. You know, I'm not. Look, it's getting a bit late, yeah. Just go and get some sleep. Okay. Now, what do you think it looks like you being in it? What do you reckon mine's thinking? Say anything. No. You say anything to anyone. Good night, Frank. Who does Barker think he is, eh? Looking down his nose at me? I won him that game. Was it just me who thought you looked knackered out there? Wait, I scored, didn't I? 
Look, players like me, Teddy Sheridan, we're not paid to run around, we're paid to score goals. I earned my six grand a week with one kick of the ball today. Get us another one when you're dying. Make it a double. What are you doing? Getting rid of the booze. It's not helping you play, is it? <laughs> Fine! You do that, they're only gonna top it up again in the morning. What? And these are going as well. Uh, babe, what? Come to bed. Now you're talking. I can live without the booze and the fags if you're uh, planning on keeping me entertained. Uh, you need your beauty sleep. Get ready for that run we're doing tomorrow. Uh, what run? Sweet dreams. Sleep. I didn't want to disturb you, so. What's wrong, Frank? Wrong? Last night, shouting at me. Not sleeping. It was a big game, and you know what I'm like. Yeah. Come back to bed. I can't. I need to get going. Where? For a run. It's 7 a.m. <laughs> Wait, what, what time is it? Time to go for that run. What, what are you doing? Hey, hang on, hang on. Jesus, you're trying to kill me. I thought footballers had to run six miles during a match. Babe, I told you I'm a striker. They pass me the ball and I slot it home. I can do it. Yeah, but you're what? Ten years younger than me? <laughs> Twelve. Thirteen on Saturday. Don't remind me. Oh, honey. Thirty-three's not so bad. Hello. All right? You get her okay last night in the end. What was it, a flat tyre? Yeah, right. He had someone in the car. Curtis get a bit of an eyeful, did he? Why? What did he tell you? What, what did he say? It's all right, mate. You can admit it. It's no big deal. We've all been there. I mean, in our distant past. Are we talking or are we running? All right, I'll see you at train. For, man. This is what you need to be practicing. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, let's see what you got, eh? Woo! You're just gonna stand there and let him take over. <laughs> what my <am I> son? Ha <laughs> ha! Oi, fat boy, deal with that. What's your problem, eh? What is it? Hey, 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 psycho, mate! What are you calling a psycho? Hey, come on, man! Hey. Hey. It's enough! Fletcher! Here! Oh, all right. I want you off. I've got you preparing for plumbing. Yeah, about time you realise I don't need the preparation. I don't need you as a distraction. Now your youth team are doing gym work. You can join them. Fine. All right, lads, I'm out in pairs. No, no! You need something to make your body weight. Frank, go and cut us. All right, we're going to be doing squats and doggies. You all know the drill. Hands, get them on with it. Come on, boys. Let's win, let's win, let's win. Man up. Just do the goddamn exercise. 
What's the matter with you two? You having a lover's tip? What'd you say? You just mind your own business and cause enough trouble, all right? Easy, Tiger. Okay, that's a good session, lads. A team sheet for Saturday games up inside the office. Now, a starting 11 will know who they are. The rest of you might want to have a look, see who's on the bench. After Man City, I'm guessing you won't be daft enough to leave me off. Oh, you're on my team sheet. This one. Arsenal. Reserves. I, I don't... Oh, there's a first time for everything, son. You can't. Oh, but I can. You're recovering for a groin strain. I mean, we go top of the league on Saturday without you. Nobody's going to be begging me to play you. In fact, nobody's even going to remember your name. Check this out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Change it. Yeah. Hurry up. Yeah, hurry. Harry at the You're not showering? I shower at home. Oh, I think I have to find someone else for a ride home. You ain't sticking up my wheels, mate. Fine. Hey, I wasn't serious. Whatever. What the hell do you think you're doing? I ain't doing anything! You might as well be putting it out over the tunnel! You want to make them look at me the way you do? I told you, it wasn't what you thought. I saw what I saw. You know me, man. And I'm not like that. What the hell's going on here? Nothing. Carlos, why you no shepherd? Get in there and get cleaned up. Yes, Gaffer. What's going on between you two? Nothing. Well, if you're not going to tell me, I'll ask him. Done. Done, it's nothing. Trust me. Look, Peter, I'll call you back. Trunk, what can I do you for? I'm, um, I'm putting in for a transfer. Is this some kind of wind-up? I have to leave. Look, Frank. And I want you to make it as soon as. Frank? I don't care what club. I'll take the personal terms, whatever. Look, if you've had a bust up with someone, then we'll talk to whoever you're having problems with. But I can't see Don wanting to lose you. You're not hearing me. I want. Which one now? He thinks it's being funny. Me. I'm the bloody reason Harchest United are still in the FA Cup. It doesn't even make me sub. Don Barker hasn't selected you. Oh, he's selected me, all right? To face Arsenal in the reserves. You know what, honey? Taking this comeback slowly isn't such a bad idea. It's an insult. No. It's a chance for you to up your match fitness without 30,000 people breathing down your neck. Look, don't you get it? He's not doing it to be nice. He wants to humiliate me any which way he can. Because you're not at all paranoid, are you? If he thinks I'm working my butt off so he can stick me in the reserves, he's got another thing coming. I'm sorry, Miss... Uh... Moliano. No, I'm afraid Mr Barker isn't available. Oh, Mr Barker, is there any chance I could have a moment of your time? Oh, of course we are. If I could say no to a beautiful woman. Please, step into my office. It's about Carl. About Saturday's game. Did he send you here to see me? No, no. But I don't think you should be playing him in the reserves. Gina, I appreciate you're supportive of him. But I am his manager. And you don't know him like I do. There are ways of getting him to up his performance. Shoving him in the reserves isn't one of them. You show him up, he digs his heels in. He's... he's kind of headstrong. Oh, beginning to see how you two get along. Okay, I've taken that on board, but he is not ready to play 90 minutes of English football. Not even at championship level. I know, but... Well, what would you have me do? I need players on my bench that can play to the highest level. I can't afford to throw in a wild card in this sort of a game. Okay. Well, I just thought I'd let you know. Thanks for your time. Now, hold on. You don't get away as easy as that. Please. <clears throat> There are not many wives or girlfriends that take me to task. Well, I wasn't exact. I know, it's all right. 
I think it's admirable. You're not scared of me. Or the players. Them scare me. I've been around footballers my whole life. I'd like to see them try. And if you can manage Carl Fletcher, you can manage anyone. Have you ever thought about working in football? Because we're interviewing for a team coordinator. And if I'm not very much mistaken, I think we might have found one. Me? <laughs> God, I don't think so. Carl would have a fit. It is the 21st century. Tom, can I have a word? Sure. At least give it some thought, eh? Dean. What's going on with Frank, Tom? Why does he want to transfer? Mm, and there's me thinking you'd lost interest. <laughs> As if. Answer it. It's Dad. Hello. Look, you've seen the lights on. What's no way we're not answering? Well, come on, let's let him in. Dad, we weren't expecting you for dinner. Do you need an appointment? Oh. I was going to get a takeout. Fancy a Chinese? No, what I fancy is a home-cooked meal. And next to your mum's, God bless her, your steak is the best this side of Aberdeenshire. Ah. You old flatterer. <laughs> I'll get started. Thanks, sweetheart. So, are you going to tell me what the hell Dean Boyle is doing in my office telling me that you have put in a transfer request? I've been thinking, you know. It's time for me to move on. You're trying to shaft me. You mean seen other Premiership clubs? Because I told you I'd take you there, Frank. All you have to do is wait to the end of next season. I'm not talking to anyone. Then I don't understand what this is all about. You've proved yourself against Barca. Man City. If ever there was a time not to quit, this is that. Look, surely Jody doesn't want any up sticks already. It's me, Don. I want out. I need my freedom. I can't play for you forever. Oh, for Christ's sake, Frank. You knew you were going to work with me when I took on this job. I don't believe you've just changed your mind. Well, at least promise me you won't go public with us. Not until we've had a chance to talk. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Look, whatever's troubling you, we can sort it. Did you know the club's advertising for a team coordinator? <laughs> I don't know why they bother. They always end up employing some dark blonde. No. Tell me you didn't. You've applied for a job in the club? No. I was just with John Walker and he mentioned it. Why were you even talking to him? Jesus, Gina, the guy's gunning for me and you go around for a cosy tea and a chat. He's not gunning for you. He just thinks you're unreliable. You were talking to him about me. You went crawling to him about me. Oh, great. Thanks a million. I hope you told him where to stick that job. Yes, same again, yeah? Why shouldn't I take this job? You don't need it. I'm putting you up. I paid for you to come here. It's the 21st century, Carl. What do you want me to do? Sit around here having saunas all day? I don't want you working at Harchester United. For God's sake, didn't your wife work at the damn club? Yeah. And look what happened there. <laughs> you know what? I want a job. I want this job. So tomorrow, I'll be going in and telling Don Buck I'd very much like to accept his offer. And in the meantime... You can have your misogynistic, patriarchal dinner alone. Gina, you realise you'd be working weekends? My family were footballers. In my world, everyone works weekends, Carl. Babe, don't. What about my... Have they? <sighs> right, well, um... I've got some videos to watch for the Plymouth game on Saturday, so if you, you don't mind, I'm gonna head upstairs.
Ne? No bol. Thank you for dinner, darling. You surpassed yourself. So, what was it you didn't want to say in front of Frank? Has he talked to you about this transfer request he's put in? Of course. You could never lie to me, darling. Now, what I want you to do for me is find out what this is all about and persuade him to drop the idea. It's madness. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I knew you wouldn't like it. Is it hard just you want away from or me? Why would I ever want to leave you? Really? Look, you've been really off lately, and I thought maybe it was just of because... Of course. Really. <sighs> okay, then. Let's do it. What about your dad? <sighs> Can't live in his shadow forever. <laughs> in fact, this could be the best thing that ever happened to us. <laughs> they beat Plymouth tomorrow, they are top of the league. They will have premiership clubs falling over themselves to sign you. <laughs> How about Dean Boyle's turning off as a way? You know, you need an agent. <laughs> that Sophia Moxon's a bitch, but she is good. <laughs> Frank, I'm trying to think we've got loads to do. We can do all that tomorrow. Now, where were we before your dad interrupted us? <laughs> Championship football at the Dragon's Lair. A big day today for Harchester United. They host Plymouth Argyle knowing that if they win, they go above it, switch town at the top of the table. No place for the unfit Carl Fletcher. There's a return for Lee Presley. Love the uniform. This colour was specially designed to see no one. <laughs> Schedule for this afternoon. Thanks. Happy birthday, Fletch. Am I forgiven yet? Are you cool with me working for the club yet? I guess I don't have much of a choice, do I? Unless I want to celebrate my misogynistic, patriarchal birthday alone. You're learning. Happy <laughs> birthday, loser. But why don't you come with me to the Arsenal game? They need a coordinator for the reserves too, you know? I mean, you could watch me play, get a hotel room, have an early night, you know, make up. <sighs> Arsenal on a cold Saturday afternoon. Never sounded so tempting. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? You're my first team coordinator, and we are playing this afternoon, so that's where you'll be. And as for you, you're in the reserves, and you're keeping ants waiting. Baby, I'm sorry. We'll celebrate when you get back. Okay. Good luck in the game. You ain't getting special treatment just because it's your birthday. You can't afford to miss this one. What, you think if we're late, Arsenal won't wait for us? OK, driver, we're all here. Let's get going. Your birthday? Yeah. How long? 30. Three. 33? My dad's not much older. Oh, cheers. Nice one, kid. OK, Gina is joining us as new team coordinator. Which means when Andy or me aren't here, she is the boss. Is that clear? He can have as many of Fletcher's girlfriends on board as he likes, as long as that fat clown's not with him. With him in reserves, and new two up front against Plymouth. I'm predicting goals or something. Let's hope so. So, have you got the team sheet for me to give the sponsors? It's already made. Can I have a word, big man? Frank's put on a transfer request. The fact is, there's a rep here from Portsmouth to see today. Yeah, I heard. Bad news. You reckon? Look, uh, you wouldn't have any idea why he's come up with this notion, have you? Here's the thing. 
I'm obviously going to have to make him an offer to stay. I'm going to make an announcement. You're not going to like it. But I just want you to smile and go along with it. Yeah? Okay, lads. We win this one. We go top of the league. It's not going to be easy. We're missing key midfield players. But I believe we can win this. And to take us there, well, I don't think anyone would disagree with me that there is one player in this dressing room that has made extraordinary progress this season. And I think it's time he was recognised as such. Curtis Alexander has done a great job as captain this season. But there's room for more than one captain at this club. Frank, I want you to captain the team this afternoon. Come on, no. Okay. Midfield or no midfield? Artists United are ready for promotion. The last game there is sure what it's all about. Okay, boys, let's go. Ask for this. Oh yeah. You do what you do. I have the bad luck to see it and I'm the one that has to pay for it. How's that fair? It's just a today. I the next game I'm gonna promise. Frank Stone captains Harchester United somewhat surprisingly today. Normally Don Barker's right hand man on the field is Curtis Alexander. It'll be something of a disappointment to Alexander that he hasn't got the captain's armband. But Don Barker selects his strongest available team, weak in midfield, still no Tommy Valentine. Lee Presley partners Alexander in attack. And it will be Plymouth Argyle to get this match underway. A very important one indeed for Harchester. You really need that left that actually got on there. What? <laughs> is this it? <laughs> this is it. Good luck, they might not know what it means. Our oh, mates! I always said I'd die before I found myself in the back of beyond playing in front of two men and a dog. What, do you reckon we get one and two? <laughs> hey, Chris! Carl Fletcher, long time no see. What are you doing, man? What are you doing here? I'm just here watching my nephew play. Yeah. He's on the team tonight. Lee Arsenal putting out the youth team. Yeah. What about you? You coaching this lot? Coaching? I'm playing, mate. Had a little row with the manager, man. You know how it is. He'll soon come round when he realises how much he needs me. Oh, yeah, yeah. you're going up for your coaching badges? Yeah, I like to bring into management. You know, I've got to face up to it sooner or later, mate. We're not getting any younger. Not me, bruv. Not me. See you later. All the best. Manchester United nil, Plymouth Argyle nil, it's been pretty even so far, great challenge by Frank Stone, Sullivan, chance to release Alexander, this is very promising for Harchester, Alexander Presley, fabulous goal, that was top quality from Harchester United, and they're not missing Carl Fletcher, are they, Lee Presley, with a terrific finish to an outstanding move, and Harchester lead Plymouth 1-0. Come on, Fletch! Red! Fletch! What? You're coming off! What are you talking about? All right, Grandpa. All right, Grandpa. What are you doing? This is me, you can't do this to me. You know it, Fletch. I've got to give the kids a run out. You're not good anyway, look at ya. What do you want me to do?
Archester still leading by that Lee Presley goal to nil. Some defending to do here for Frank Stone and once again he does it excellently. He's been in fabulous form at the back, leading by example. Here's Tyson, decent cross. Oh, great header! 2-0, Lee Presley. Tremendous finish. No wonder Don Barker wears the broader smile inside the Dragon's lair. Lee Presley might be grabbing all the headlines, but defensively, Frank Stone has been a rock at the back. It's half-time, and Harchester United have turned in a great all-round team performance here. But skipper for the day, Frank Stone, has been brilliant. Dean. All right, <laughs> Jimmy, want a drink? Um, in a minute. Good game, huh? Yeah. Yeah, Plymouth don't even know what's hit them. Yeah, the Portsmouth guy is loving it. Hmm? Loving Stone. Look, I know Don's not really up for this sale, but Frank's never going to be hotter. Which is why Don wants to keep him. They're offering two million for a championship player, and you've still got Tyson and Mills. Imagine what you can buy in the midfield for two million. Oh. Look, just speak to Don for me, would you? I've heard about your powers of persuasion. <laughs> I thought you wanted a drink. Right. You're playing a blinder at this time. If that's what you like with Portsmouth, I think they impressed. They can come there often. <laughs> hey, look, this is long overdue. Don't know why I didn't get soon. Sorry, she needs some air. Excuse me. Hey, uh, you can't come down here. This is a secure area. Medical emergency. All right. Hi. Where's the nearest water supply? And she needs a chair. Use that you room. Don't you back here, Don't. I don't think I can go back on. What are you talking about? You're playing it to your skin. J just stop me. I'm not, I'm not feeling too good. Nonsense! I want you on that patch! Archester leading Plymouth by two goals to nil. More of the same, please, in the second half, and they will go top of the championship. Frank Stone's been outstanding so far. Archester get the second half underway. Frank Stone committed to the challenge. It's late. Awkward challenge, that on Lasley from Stone. And again, Frank Stone so late with a challenge. By a tackle from Stone. That's reckless and that could be trouble for Frank Stone. It might be ascending off here, it is red. Well, he's been like a man possessed out there, the skipper. And he has certainly let his manager down. Frank Stone is off. You can't be here. I don't ever want to see you again. It's my job. I'm just here to do my job. If it's more money you want, just give me some time. I can sort that out. Oh, I'm not a blackmailer or a prostitute. You don't touch me. I just need you to promise me you won't ever say anything to anyone. I'm not, I'm not like this. Look, I know it must be difficult for you to come out if you're a footballer, but- Not gay, you don't, you don't understand. Fine. Okay, look. Have your money back. And if it means so much to you, of course, I promise I won't say anything. Thank you. Thank you. I love my wife. Yeah. That's what they all say. Sending off. Yes, sir. Totally out of character for that. Excuse me. Frank! What the hell was that after half time? I certainly wasn't to impress Portsmouth. Just leave it, Don. Hey, you were playing it to your skin, son. That's one of the best performances of your career. I'll give you the captain's armband. What else do I have to do to make this work for you, Frank?
Nothing. All right? Nothing. Okay, lads. Let's have a proper celebration, huh? Bev, okay if we take us over to studs? Gina, darling, can you call us some taxis for reception? Drinks is on me, lads! Whoa! Any chance you know if the minibus is back from Arsenal yet? No, you might as well come with. Fletcher ain't want to miss a party. We'll head over when they get here. Curtis, jump in. Get your left. Right. Cheers, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Don't thank me. We're going to make a little diversion before we get to studs. Me and you need to talk. Get on in. Get on in. Yeah, it's alright. Hey, where's Gina? She's already left, you know, mate. What? Studs, the party tonight. We're going top. Oh, is she? Nice. Happy birthday, Fletcher. We're going to have to have a good time out then, ain't we? Hey? Mate, she's going to be there. Yeah, well, we won't, all right? They're not going to have fun. I'm going to show you how to have fun. <laughs> Listen, I've ordered a cab. I'll meet you down there, yeah? Good to you, yeah? Mate. What's up? Reception won't have a word with you. Something about a company yeah? tab? Really? Yeah. Okay. Go on, mate. <laughs> Works every time. What are you doing? Woohoo! Oh! My cat! Where are you going with my cat? <laughs> I need to know what's going on with Frank. You got the wrong man. Have I? Cause if so, I was right to change the captaincy this afternoon. There's something wrong with Frank. Badly wrong. I've known that boy nine years and I've never seen him like this. And whatever it is, you're in on it. What kind of captain are you to keep that information from me? Well, what if it's private? Curtis, look at me. I've spent nine years with that boy. He's been my captain, my right-hand man. I let him marry my daughter, for Christ's sake. He's a son to me. More than a son. You don't choose your relatives. I chose him. I know that he's in trouble. I mean, I've got all this stuff going about in my head. Is it drugs? Is it gambling? Is he cheating? And I can't help him because I don't know what's wrong. Look, is he involved in something illegal or what? Look, there's nothing illegal. Then what is it, man? Look, I only want to help him. And it can't be that bad, whatever it is. And even if it is, there's nothing that would change my mind about that boy. Nothing. So please, just tell me. Oh, God, Black, pull over, man. Pull over? What? What's the problem? I've got previous. It'll be all right. No, it won't. Look, if this cops up, I'm going to end up back inside. This car's been reported stolen. Do you not follow football, mate? Look who it is! Carl Fletcher, Lee Presley. It's all right, your mistake. We'll let it slide this time. Right, can you breathe into this, please, sir? He went home, had a headache. Why? Ah, uh, no, I just wanted to chat. Well, if you're going over there, I'll come with you. No, 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 no. You stay here. It's nothing. Okay. Oh, Dom. Oh, done. Glad you're here. Um, I need to talk to you about Frank and this deal. Yeah, go for it. You can take Postman's offer now. Now? Yeah, do the deal tonight. But what if he's not happy with the personal terms? Oh, he'll take them. I guarantee it. Frank Stone has left this club. Hey, vividly. All right, mate, look. Me and Fletcher are in a little bit of bother. We've been arrested. Look, mate, 
It was Fletcher nicked the cab. I don't know what's the call. Lee Presley, Carl Fletcher, are they coming out anytime soon? We're just processing the bell. Oh, thank God you're here. What you call that not for? Would you will let me call Gene and who else is there? Look, what's the score? Are they charging us? They're charging him. Drink driving, I couldn't get you out of even if I wanted to. But they reckon he'll do a ban. Not time. More's a pity. And what's the cabbie saying? The driver mysteriously dropped the charges, luckily for you. See? With your previous, you'd be down a clangor fast that I can say what a bloody waste of footballing talent. Then I reckon it's time to celebrate. What do you say to a different kind of lock-in, yeah? Come on. I thought you said the pipe was downstairs. It is. So why we, uh... Later. Right, fine. Nice place. I didn't think home decor was your thing, but I guess that must have been your wife, eh? More importantly, where'd you keep the booze? I could tear the arse out of a martini. Well, I wouldn't do that if you were me. What, you think I'll shark you with mine, eh? You got jaws all wrong, bro. This boy's not a psycho, he's a pussycat. Jesus! Too bad it's boy. It's between me and Fatso here. Oh, you the only reason why I ain't bothered with you before is I don't care if you run yourself into the ground. All right, mate, all right. Now, if no one else is going to draw the line, then I have to. I don't want you ever coming near me again. Ah! Now, you can apologize, or do I have to drop you? I'm sorry! Look, they're not nearly enough! I don't think he means it. You think a leopard can change his spots? I'm not sure, son. Hey, oi, fat boy! My arms are getting really tired here. I, I, I said I'm sorry! I can't hear you, mate. I'm sorry! Whoop! Ah! Oh my god, you killed him! Fletch! Fletch, <coughs> that means you're alright! Oh, oh, thank Christ. Oh, please. Oh, thank God there was bin bags here. Uh, the council, I thought they went yesterday. Hang on a minute. Uh, you wanna chuck them onto the cobbles from 20 feet up? Then you're gonna kill them! Well, let that be a lesson to you then, yeah? Because if I see you anywhere near that loser again, it's going to be you. You're insane. No, you ain't getting this. I'm a professional. I don't get wasted hey. before a game. Uh. And as of now, neither do you. I eat right, I work hard, I look after myself. Because my job is to get this club back in the Premiership. Understand? Okay, we're going to go and get your stuff. Because as of now, you're moving in with me. No way. Yes way. Come on, let's go. Hey! Hey! Hey, you forget your key. All right, Frank. Can I come in for a sec? Yeah, sure. Is it true? Is, is what? Is what true? Fuck the bear out! I don't know what Curtis has told you, Don, but he's lying! Don't deny it! Curtis Alexander is incapable of lying! And so are you! I can see the fuck in your eyes. I don't know you're in trouble, can I? What the fuck are you gonna do? It's already done. You are soaked to Portsmouth. Now I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna pack your bags and you are done from our lives. I'm gonna keep this to myself because I've got my daughter to protect you. But you so much as even see her or try to speak to her, I will tell the world what you did. And you know what they think of people like you in this game. Football's all you got left, son. One word for me. It's all over. <laughs> Coming soon on Dream Team. Dad, give me some answers. Please, I'm freaking out. I only asked two things for my captain. Honesty and loyalty. You showed me neither. But I'm not your captain, though, am I? Of course you are, on one condition. My daughter thinks he cheated with a woman, so if she ever asks you, you back up that little white lie. How long have you been saying that? 
I want some answers, Frank's Tony, and I'm not leaving here until I get them. 